Hello, welcome back to... Whoa! Oh, jeez, let me get the introduction right first. Uh, do I want him? 16? Not done anything? No. Oh, right. Hello, welcome back to a rather belated um, episode of uh, Let's Play the Skippy Eye. Uh, messing around in the Middle East. Mess around in the Middle East. Another uh, series of letters. I've got going on. Uh, alliterative letters, that's the one. Um, yeah, apologize, apologies for the delay. I... Um, Made the mistake of buying Terraria last week. Uh, my other stuff like crack cocaine. Um, I've got Steam has rather nicely told me that I spent 39 hours on record, um, which is just disgraceful considering I only got it about a week ago. <laughs> it just just settles it really. I'm not um, not touching Minecraft with a barge pole. I imagine I forgot that as well. Uh, you just find me six months later an emaciated skeleton in a dark room somewhere. So. But with a nice little flat continent, just been nicely mined out. Where was I when I last joined? Oh yeah, I was going to have a mega turn. Where it's going to take Pal Palmyra, Bostra, and the big one, Jerusalem. Which has a lot of Pharaoh's bowmen. Three. But three's enough. They're just mustard. They, they're just fantastic. Uh, what else is happening? Uh, merging all my armies in Spain sooner or later and um, that was it I've run out of money did I do that last time I can't remember it's been so long anyway before I ramble myself into a uh, into silence let's go with a battle Ooh. I think one to one it's not because I don't think this is a very good army for this kind of thing it's got Old legions, early legions, trincopes, equites, I mean, my god. Right. And they've got Pharaoh's bowmen, which are fantastic, and Pharaoh's guards, which are fantastic. Right, what's my plan for this? Possibly use the onagers. Uh, I've never really used them in open battle before, I'm not going really to lie. Easy thing to face. That's right, you said it, pal. Now, I do have a hill, but I'm also attacking, so how much use that's going to be, I'm not too sure. Let's format uh, into, into lines, and maybe they'll come down to meet us halfway. Ooh, very pleasant. And you can just go over there, put you on fire at will flaming arrows and hopefully don't live to regret it. In fact, let's take you out of the group. And just just forget about you. Right. The fairy man will be busy today. Oh, good old fairy man. More men to the fight. Now I don't know if I want to save my fire my fire at will with the healer for that army. To get it out of the way quickly, or this other rather monstrous one that's behind it. Um, maybe I'll just get this one out of the way quickly. Let's, let's keep to let's keep to the hill. Let's follow the contours. Oh, did you see that victory army to jump and jump again as they entered the battlefield? Battlefield. That's an army to be feared. That is. Still, army strength is one to one. So if I lose this, it's my own fault. As always. Oh, somebody's firing. Oh no, it's them. You missed. Ooh, close but no cigar. Ooh, now my onagers are getting on the uh, in the action. So that they're they're hitting closer than the, the enemies are. Ooh, very nice. Uh, 
Uh, you can fill up the gap there. Ah, oh, very nice. Right, hopefully we can chase off those... Ooh. Chariots before they do anything. He says... Yeah, victory is a certainly. No, don't go to test two though. Enemy Wrong button. And now his men fear us. It is time to press the attack. That's a good start. I'm pleased with that. You can turn around and go over there. You. Oh. Hit me with an onager, but it wasn't a flaming arrow, so. Yeah, it sucks to be there. Well, this part of the battle is going rather well. Suspiciously well. I don't do fairly fairly good battles. Not my thing. You get out of Testudo, for God's sake, man. What did you listen to me for? God, my allergies are hitting more men than the... Oh. Okay, it's not going to stop them firing, because they're just firing on my men. Like, for God's sake, man! The, the Egyptians are wearing yellow. <laughs> they're the foreign-looking ones. There you go, I guess. Well, yeah. The ones that don't look Roman. So, that's one army chased off the field, more or less. I think what's going on here? I think they're they're chasing them off the field. But don't wait, something's happening over here with the oranges. Their oranges, not mine this time. Now, by the looks of it, they're just they're just waiting they are. Can I bring in some cavalry auxilia to make them change their mind about putting their onagers so far away from the rest of the troops? Maybe I can. Let's see. Hmm. That's um, close, I suppose. That uh, cannonball. Not cannonball, you know what I mean. If you could face the right way, that would be great. Yeah, form up into a line. Nice use of uh, you know, the missiles there. I must be learning from a party in game. Right, my legions are under attack from somebody. I'm not quite sure who. Is it those Pharaoh's bowmen? Because they've got they, they're just very good. They are. No, I think it is the Onagers. Who are now behind enemy lines. That's where they should be. Okay, that manoeuvre was a bit of a failure. This one might not be though. You can run away and protect the flanks. I want you to try and sort of slip between those gaps there. It helps if you turn off skirmish. Like, run through there. Right, now run behind there. Keep running, keep running, keep running. Ah. Oh well. <laughs> I get marks to try it. I'm trying. That's right, I certainly am. Oh, they're using flaming arrows now, or flaming things. Well, that's close.
But I have a feeling they give up pretty quickly. So what's going on over here? My auxiliary have run off. Fine. Didn't want them anyway. So I've got the advantage of the hill. And that's all you need, really. Uh, they're shaken, which is good. I don't know why they're shaken, then. Panic by artillery fire. Ah, oh, grow up there. Ah, Pharaoh's guards. They are these knees. Well, they seem to be losing that. If I chase down the general, that might be something interesting. Right, this line seems to be doing all right here. Oh, you can go over there. What's the name? Bowmen. Not Pharaoh's bowmen, though. How's this line looking? Victory seems certain. The enemy general is running away. Good. This is no way for a leader to behave. But in battle, battle it is beyond belief. Roman cavalry. Forces are balanced. No, 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 he's supposed to be winning. Oh, good, good, right. That's one pharaoh's guard out the way. This one should be on the way. What's going on over here? Oh, oh, well, that's going okay. Let's get the general involved with those bowmen. Okay, so we've got something of a mass route going on now, which is fine and dandy. What's that? Pharaoh's bowmen. They are solid. Seriously, you can charge them with anything and they will stand and fight. But this cap is just too much. See, they're winning against whatever they are. Ah, they're running away there, I suppose. They made one of my cavalry auxiliary around. I think that says it all, doesn't it? <laughs> Missile troops making cavalry run away. At least the general knows what he's doing. Okay, I'm at risk of... Whoa. Yeah, so let me get this straight. Three legions versus one pharaoh's bowman. And the balance of forces is even. I'll let that sink in for a moment. Roman, three Roman legions against one set of bowmen. Can I bring in... Ooh, like the generals and just finish them off. Again, there. What's going on? Ah, here we go. Finally. Okay, you can reform into some form of lines. It's a very confusing battle. Good. Right, that's all the bowmen. Those cavalry dogs that you can come back. Hey, they're not the only one. My onagers have routed their bowmen. So this with the world's gone mad. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I, I was late putting this one up. I also went for a walk before I did this to clear my mind. Because I, you know, my mind got all fogged from playing Terraria so much. I had to mine lots of um, Hellfire, or well, Hellfire and Brimstone, or whatever it is. Hey, they're running away. If they run away, I've got to do a Siege of Jerusalem. And I don't want to do a Siege of Jerusalem. Uh, so I took a walk, I was whistling along to Bath out of Hell. Uh, well, part of the journey. And my god, it's so long, I've never got um, worn out from whistling to a song before. Bath of Breath.
Now, are these people going to rout? Yes, yes you are. You're going to rout and you're going to rout the good. Is in flight. Pursue ah. them and drive them from the battlefield. Quick, they're getting away. Does it act they're pretty good, I want to stop them. The enemy show their true virtue. They are not soldiers, soldiers only frightened rabbits, rabbits running, running from our men. men. Uh yeah. I also listened to Wasted Youth as well at the introduction piece, uh, which has a blatant contradiction within the first four lines. Let me explain. It starts with there's some heavy breathing, and then the person doing it, Jim So and so or whatever, it's not actually meatloaf this time, says, I remember everything. And follows up with, I remember every little thing as if it happened in the yesterday. I was barely 17 and I once killed a boy with a Fender guitar. He then says, I don't remember if it was a Telecaster or a Stratocaster. But he just said he remembered everything. <laughs> now that's my, uh, that's my job, that's my joke to parties. I don't get invited to many parties. <laughs> now, how many people have killed there? Triumph to save her. Roman calm, calm down. The enemy. Okay, you could say that without shouting. I'm right here. But yeah, heroic victory. Three heroic. Men deployed 1,874. Men killed 2,834. With a loss of hmm, just over 700. 720. Yeah, 720. Very good. Pleased with that. Well done. So talking of parties, I've also got the ideal fancy dress costume set up for a kind of a Che Guevara, che Guevara kind of thing. But um, just never invited to a fancy dress party. Got kind of like a green cargo shorts, a red t-shirt, a red sort of canvasy kind of canvasy kind of canvasy jacket. Oh, you lot, get a move on. Look, somebody somewhere can lay siege to that before they retrain the men. And they due to head to Palmyra. Good, right. So, with that little sort of story and fabulous battle, all done and dusted, um, let's end the turn. Hopefully, nowhere revolt. What do Egypt? What do Egypt want? Egypt. They don't want anything. They want to bribe one of our armies. Sidon is writing. Tell me something I don't know. There is nothing I can do for that place. Nothing. Give us an arena. But by the time that's built, it's probably, it'll probably have revolted. Writing in Memphis. Ooh, that's new. Well, they've got over themselves fairly quickly. A little nice large temple of Saturn to reward them for the fact. I've got a lot of stats, fine. What do we do with them? Ah, I'll take them to Greece. Um, along with any troops that we decide to come with. I'll take them to Spain. I'll take a couple of uh, army cities off the Brutii. Now, I don't know how far I want to take this campaign. I'm going to take Rome, I'm certainly finish. Take Rome, yes. But do I then want to take 50, 50, 50 territories? Because that'll take a while. I can take a good dozen or so in the civil war that will ensue. And I want to get some of the civil war through. I don't just like walk into Rome and then suddenly, ah, oh, well, that's, that's it, see you later. I want a bit of Roman on Roman that. Hang on, I was going to say Roman and Roman action and then stop myself. I said this anyway. So I was a poison stuff for myself. Uh, so yeah, I want to see some civil war action, real, real sort of legion on legion. That, I doubt we did it again. <laughs> Memphis has built highways. It's all very expensive stuff. Anyway, that's all administration. I'll probably do that off screen. This is going to be a short episode because. Uh, I need more or less to remember what I was doing. So you can take Palmyra. 
15 to 4, I have faith. I don't know why, I've lost 200 men. And occupy that settlement. Or oh, 532. Give him a tax break. Managed to destroy most of the place. What little there is to destroy, you managed to destroy it. Um, 40 to 1. Hope for your sake you can beat that. Uh, occupy that as well. All 651 of them. And. Public order be damned, I want to get these odds right. Engage the enemy. Besieging settlement, sir. 10 to 1. Come on. Valerius Propertius. What a man. Man of the hour. Or man of the video. Man of the match. It's a shame he's not a very good general. He's just lucky with his command. And Jerusalem is going to get enslaved straight away. Um, because they have an automatic 30% unrest that's just there permanently. I think we explained that in a previous video. To simulate the fact that Judea has always been a problem for the Romans. And the people, and the Assyrians before them. No, and the Babylonians before them, and the Assyrians before them. And was there anyone between the Babylonians and the Romans? Of course, there must be somebody. Um, yeah, because they saw that the, the people of Judea saw themselves as equals of anybody that tried to um, imperialise them. I suppose that's fair enough, really. Um, I certainly wouldn't want to be sort of seen as inferior just because somebody had come and sort of taken my city off me. Well, I did mean, I think I had three revolts in Jerusalem during the time the Romans were there, and by the third one, they ended up. The Temple of Solomon got destroyed and didn't bother rebuilding it, which is where you get the Wailing Wall from today. Jerusalem, what a city. Um, legionary cohorts and legionary cavalry, so that's going to be a useful place. Now I'm kind of worried that I might take every Egyptian city that I can see and nothing's happened. So, where are the Egyptians? Parthian capital at war? Oh, that doesn't bode well. Parthian capital allies. Oh, for the love of... Ah, <laughs> oh, Parthia! Parthia, you're just useless. <laughs> but how could you let me down like that after all I've done for you in another Let's Play? I've got to march an army all the way over there to take that before I can finally rid myself of the Egyptian menace. <sighs> so the plan was to leave one army here just to keep an eye on the Parthians. Not the Parthians, uh, the Pon Pontus, the Pontic people. The Pontians? What's the adjective form of Pontus? And um, everyone else can go to Greece. I'm going to give a, like a a good one-two to the, the um, Bruta, and it really would be a one-two, because one would be going from the east to take Athens and Larissa, and one would be going from the west to take Apollonia and the Thurman, and a quick uppercut from Sparta to take Corinth. However, that will require the kind of planning that... Well, the first problem is that the Parthians have just let me down. They just... No. Oh, Parthia. Parthia, what are you doing? What are you doing to me? Oh. Maybe we could just sign a ceasefire with them. Yes. I shall speak with them at once. Uh become a protectorate. Huh, fine. Um Ceasefire and give me some regular tribute. Fine. Well, they've, they've even got an army on the on the run over there. So everybody here has the potential. 
to make an army. So that's what they're going to do. Once Sidon's calmed down. Well, that's shortened the queue considerably. That 12,000 denarii I started with um, disappeared by the sharpish. Oh boy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, an urban cohort, eight. And are you the. Oh, yeah, you're the well armoured army. You're the one that's waiting. And, oh, there's more. It's just so many troops. They're just too productive. A couple of legions are on the way from Carthage. A couple of legionary cavalry are on the way from Thapsus. And if I do that. Um, I'll run out of money if I do that. I will also run out of money. So, money, money was all spent. Uh, one good battle, three cities taken. I'd call that a good video in all, and good time. So, next video. Um, think, I think I might go for Rome next video. Or at least prepare to take Rome. Like next one will be just clicking end turn again and again and again. Uh, which sounds fascinating. Now that, I've <laughs> now that I've said it out loud, I really know how to draw up some really draw up some, some interest. So, yes, join me next time, and I'll be doing that. Assuming I don't spend another thirty nine hours on Terraria in the meantime. And yeah, I'm not touching Minecraft with a barge pole. I'm sorry. It looks good, but I just know that I'm, I'm, I'm just, I won't leave the house. <laughs> so, yes, that's what, well, yes, quite. Where was I? Oh yeah, bye. <laughs> See you later.